So today we are driving up to Mount Fuji. There's a crazy Nike outlet there. It's obviously, you know, the outlet king. Well, not that I really outlet research anymore, but we've got to go check the outlets out, show you guys what's available and go and see Mount Fuji. Obviously landmark. Apparently you can only sometimes see it. There's some mountains there, but I don't think that's it. We're about an hour away now, uh, just to the service station. So we're going to go in, uh, get some breakfast and then we'll be on our way. Mate, only in Japan can you get a Pokemon vending machine. You just buy cards and stuff. Yeah. That's so sick. A vending machine and shit sell toys. That's cool. Only in Japan. Here's a little tour of the Mosa. It is called a Nissan Easy Days. I don't know how to explain. It's like a minivan, but... Big and small at the same time. At the back of it is very spacious. I was warm in here. And then look at the boot. It makes no sense. This is the boot. Oh, sugar. Have I locked it? Let's try now. Oh, no. I'll keep locking it. There you go. Look at the boot. It's like the smallest boot ever. It makes no sense. They've got like a nice little khaki colour on it, but... Does the job. And yeah, can't complain. For a day, this costs 50 quid to rent, including like full insurance. The only issue is it doesn't have car play, so you have to manually use the navigation and it's awful. I will see you, I think when we're there, probably when we're there, unless we crash, God forbid, when we're there. This is Mount Fuji in the distance, if you can see. If I zoom in, that right there is uh, Mount Fuji in the distance, so we'll keep going. We are here at the outlet. Mount Fuji is, is there, but it's kind of covered by the, uh, the um, clouds. So, I don't think we'll see Mount Fuji today, but obviously, first stop, the Greek Palace of Knossos. No, I'm joking. Um, that's not funny. Nike outlet. Let's go. I'm gonna go and find it. There's loads of shops here. So I'll show you all the cool ones that you guys probably watching this would care about. Um, and there's a Mason Margiela right there. Oh, I've got stone in my shoe. Um, Y3, Dolce, and Gabbana. Oh, I keep looking for Nike. They've got a Stone Island right here. I don't know if you can see that because of the glare, but yeah, Stone Island there. They've got a poke, massive Pokemon store. Dyson, I might cop a little Hoover. Who knows? But we're going to find the Nike store somewhere. Somewhere around there. It says about a 10 minute walk. Obviously, this place is pretty big. It's very well presented. It's much nicer than UK outlet um, park retail thingies. But let's go to Nike. Big Ralphie right here. I'm going to have to go in and get some socks after. As I said, I'm just going to show you guys shops that I see that may be of interest on the way to the Nike store. And I have found the Nike store. They said it was a 16-minute walk, but it is right there. So we're going to go in and hopefully do some dirty, dirty spending. But we shall see. Off to Nike, we pop. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment has come. This Nike outlet store is huge. It's only 20% off that. So Uncle Sam has to find some steals to come home with. But let's go in the Nike outlet in Japan. Oh, wait, I was going through the exit. We'll go in. Let's go. Bro, this outlet is so big. It's all just like that. <laughs> Cash out. And this right here is Mount Fuji. We're going to go nearer later, but obviously we're at the shops right now. But you can see it in full daylight, full clearness. The clouds have gone. Let me, uh... Yeah. Yeah, Mount Fuji. Cool. Um, Outlet Cooks. Obviously, I know it's in a separate video, but it's just because it's so long. Um, and it's worth you guys waiting for when it drops. It's just going to be ridiculous. But... Um, I will show you the rest of the shops and I will quickly show you we did cook. I mean cook. 
I'm not going to show you too much, but that's it. That's what you're seeing for now. Tune back in tomorrow for the Nike Outlet video. Peace. Next stop is Stone Island. Realistically, I don't know what I'll buy. If anything, I do have a give myself like a budget for personal shopping here. So we're about 30% into it. So let's see if we can find anything here in Stone Island. This this is what I want. This like the crinkle reps jacket, like this sort of thing. I don't know what price is, but we shall find out, and then I will let you know. It's about six hundred and thirty pounds. I'm not sure what UK retail is, but that is so nice. I really do want something like that. But it's just a ball ache to bring home. And these are Dior ones. <laughs> Uh, 250 quid, they're not Dior, they're just the Stone Island shoes. They got these ones as well. Not a fan, cat. They're sick to be fair, like thermal bottoms. I'll grab them if they were cheap, but Stone Island, so they are 250. I suppose that's actually kind of cheap, but. Not cheap enough for me. I live in Bershka and like H&M and stuff. They've got like every colour here. You've got like other black bits here. Got the blues. I'm not really that interested in this sort of stuff, but I thought I'd come in and show you guys. To be fair, that's sick. It's like varsity jacket. It's unreal. But why? I like this orange jacket as well, to be fair. Which is, oh, I'm kind of just window shopping a little bit, but it's about 350 Other than that, nothing for me. Um, I think it's only right that we go there next and get some Pokemon. Nothing in Stone Island for me, but I don't know if those prices are cheap or not. But I'm going to go and buy some stuff for the family. It's only right if I'm in Japan, I get some Pokemon. Like a fridge magnet is ideally what I'd want to buy. So, Pika Pika. That's all I know about Pokemon. The noise that Pikachu makes. Um, there's a lot of kids in here, so I probably should stop recording. All right, next stop, we've got A6. It's dangerous for me because I love the, the Gel 1130s, but I feel like this will only have sort of running footwear in. I could be entirely wrong. But I'm gonna start over here. Um, no running footwear. I mean, no uh, like lifestyle footwear. All right. Put gel lights. And those. No. I'll keep looking. He got gel eleven thirties. Thirteen two hundred. It's about sixty pounds. These pretty nice to be fair. Other than that, there's no like jockey, I don't know, 14s. Let's we'll check the next aisle. In... Oh, I've definitely got special needs. I just keep making the weirdest noises. Um, nothing. Not in, not in, not in. So just those 1130s. And nothing special, so I made that a quick trip out. Um, next stop, I believe, is New Balance, just across the road. New Balance, we are here. Let's find some steals. Men's side is over there. So let's uh, see if we can find anything. We're looking for, I wouldn't mind, like a, a 19... 06 or something. That would be ideal, but found them. That was quick. They're expensive. They're like retail price here. Um, I got this one, this one, this one, and that one. So let's hunt the back wall. See if we can find anything. Oh, there's some more here to be fair. These are 19 and 6 hours though. They're actually quite nice. Uh, 860 GGs. But 
These are quite nice. 2002 R. It doesn't have a price. So I don't really see how that helps. Um, oh, this is all B grade. I suppose if you find good B grades, then you're fine. You got the 9060s. Um, I like these. They're quite nice. Um, what else have we got? None of these even look B grade. You got 990s here. They're quite nice. Oh, they're not actually. I'm just saying that for the sake of it. Um, other than that, yeah, they are nice. But nothing has prices. So how can they expect to sell it? This has a price of 15k yen, which is about 80 pounds. Uh, other than that, it's kind of dead. It's like really unappealing models and colorways. Any 990s here? You got 2002's retail price. Um, honestly, other than that, very disappointing with New Balance. These are nice though, to be fair, but yeah, very disappointing. And like nothing has prices, so they're really nice, but it doesn't have a price. So I don't know how that helps. I'm going to find out how much they are though. They've got 990s here as well. Right there. But yeah, we'll find out how much these ones are because they're pretty nice. So I think all of these are 50 quid each. Those are 50 pounds, 2002s. And then that 1906, this one right here. It's 50 quid as well. They say B grade, but there is not a single thing wrong with any of them, I don't believe. Next stop, the Adidas shop. Now this is, I think this is bigger than Nike. This is genuinely um, huge. Hi. First thing I've seen is the Arsenal shirts. Last season's away shirt. We got Arsenal, Bayern, Juve. But shoes is priority. Um, Let's see if we find anything. Um, I think a lot of this is retail price. You've got the black campus, to be fair. These campus are £25. This one right here. They're 40 quid. This is dangerous for me. These are just shoes that I like to wear. Let's see what else we can find. Um, anything here? That's all superstars. I think a lot of it is retail usually in these outlets. Those gazelles are really nice, to be fair. Um, they got campus 25 quid. Like, yeah, kind of clapped. Yeah. All of this is retail price. A lot of this is all retail, I can't lie. But we'll see. Those samples are unreal. Uh, what else have we got? I'm not really inclined to buy anything in here unless there's like really cheap personal shoe. But I don't have, I literally have enough room probably for one shoe. And this is all like women's and kids. We'll go back to the men's and just have a quick look. Um, but yeah, it's so cheap. It's actually 20% off just apparel as well. So, yeah, see, furry superstars is crazy in 2024. It'll come back into fashion at some point, just not yet. Right, let's see what we've got. This is all the dead stuff. This is all performance, I think. Sports shit, like PE shoes, sports direct spec stuff. It's all 30 quid. I assume none of you want to see that. Let's see what we've got here. We've got Ultra Boosts. Great 1.0, about £80. Pounds. All of these are around 80 to 100 quid. And you've got Backwall. I don't know if it's B grade or if it's just um, no lid stock. But we can have a look. Let's wait for these people. Let's have a look. What have we got? Nothing. We've got the Jeremy Scott's, £30. Pounds. 
。ああ、すみか。ああ、すみか。ああ、すみか。ああ、すみか。ああ、すみか。ああ、すみか。ああ、すみか。ああ、すみか。ああ、すみか。ああ、すみか。Was down here. It was. These are £25. It's that blue and grey campus. Then the classic black ones. It's about £75. And then you've got the brown ones, about £40. It's not bad.、Um, what else have we got here? Anything interesting? Not sure what these are. The Super Stream, interesting shoe.、Um, you've got the Addy Fom sort of clog thing, 25 quid. They kind of look comfy though. Let's go and look at Arsenal shirts and see how much that is. But this one's a bit disappointed in terms of what they actually have. We've got Juve, £15. Okay. Oh, why is Arsenal War? Obviously, because we're better, but 5,000 yen, so that's 25 quid tax free. All medium, shame.、Uh, what else have we got here? Not interested in any of this stuff, man. I'm going to go back and look at the football shirts. Adidas. Japan stuff.、Um, Where else have we got? I'm going to check those football shirts. If the buying ones are cheap, it's 20% off on top. So, let's see. Buying. Oh, XL. 50 quid. Bloody hell. That is 15 quid. Ajax is. 35. Celtic is expensive. This UV might be a cook. How much is this UV? 4,000 yen. But this one is 2,700 yen, which is 14 pounds with 20% off. These are 12 quid each. What team is behind that? Celtic.、Um, maybe we grab some of them. I can't lie. 15 quid. Let's see what else we've got here. Anything. Yeah, nothing here. This is actually 30% off though. What's this? This could be interesting. That's actually really nice. How much is this? 25 with 20% off. It's quite nice to be fair. Other than that, there is. Not anything of interest. We'll keep looking though. We will keep looking. Right, let's see what we got.、Um, nothing like. The only thing that's potentially interesting is that Juventus. Just because pricing wise, that's extremely, extremely cheap. But. We shall see. Here we go, and Addy, that's Tokyo t shirt. It's pretty cool. How much is that? If I'm not paying £30 for that. Here we go, one wear. All right, Juventus shirts. Seem like the only serious cook. And they can fit in my suitcase as well. Five UVTs cocked. £62 for five. So, what's that like? Twelve pound a tea. Gonna bang them all on what not for you guys anyway. On one Monday,、um, Monday Polo Ralph Lauren. Let's、um, see how cheap everything is in here.、Um, who knows? It could be、uh, vintage resellers heaven. I can't imagine it is because I remember that this is pretty much retail price. But we'll see if Polo is any good. First thing you're greeted with is cable nets.、Uh, I'll show you the price on these. They are. It doesn't have a price. Oh, yeah, it does. £120 with 20% off. So they're like 90 quid for cable net. Crazy expensive here.、Yeah. They've got everything. I'm really uninterested in this shop. I don't know how much these are. I need about £150 retail.
Oh, no, no, that's not a zip up. I'm just spazzing out here. I don't want to just leave already. I've fumbled it so badly. Um, let's see what we got. I do want to get um, like a windbreaker like that, but it's just a ball leg to bring home. It takes up so much room. Um, let's see. They have quarters there. Can't see any. Um, in here? Yeah, the jumper. It's, yeah. You know, with the little. Yeah. Uh, with the little balls. It's 21,000 yen and 20% off. Really? It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, that's all right. That's still like 80 quid. <laughs> yeah. It's 21,000 yen is about 100. I don't think it's that no. cheap. Here's Ralphie, though. Just if they have the grey joggers, that's literally yeah. Let's see. That's pretty nice to be fair. How much is this? I can remember 150 great British pounds. Can I have the grey tracksuit bottom? Anywhere. Uh that's navy, brown. How much is the black zip up? Is 20% off of 23k. It's like 100 pounds. It's all right. I suppose considering retail is so high, 20% off on the joggers. They're not like baggy ones, they're like dead calf. Um, I just don't think I'm built for our friends, to be honest. Given how expensive it is, I will look in the sale and see if there's any like big steals. If you're coming to Japan, I highly, highly, highly recommend coming here. It's about, it took us about under two hours to drive here from Tokyo. And I mean, we've come and the weather is, is beautiful. You can see the mountain. We were able to see it before. The clouds are a little bit over it now, but I'm sure they will pass. The prices. Uh, you could fill up a whole suitcase of a new wardrobe here. We've barely even touched the surface in terms of the shops. The event, the Juventus shirts, super, super cheap. Um, Nike was super cheap. Um, I'll show you what I did pick up for personal. I picked up two personals for under £100. This is one of them. Obviously, the outlet video will be out tomorrow, so you can see everything then. Oh, my God, my forehead is, like, reflective. Um, but, yeah, this is one of the shoes I picked up. I picked up these p six thousand. In like a white and midnight navy and honestly i will let you wait till tomorrow to see how cheap they are but just now i picked up two personals these and something else for under 80 pounds as well as some crazy stuff so tune back in tomorrow same time whatever time this uploads tomorrow's video will be at the same time just on the nike outlet i know i've made it into a separate video but it's worth it trust me i'll see you tomorrow um with the outlet video but we're going to continue here with the daily video and then tomorrow will be the nike outlet video next stop um off-white i mean imagine it's like mad cheap and clutch but i don't know i doubt it we shall see what there is it's empty which is a bad sign it means people don't want to spend money here let's see what we got yeah, that's pretty nice. Forty percent off of three hundred pounds, about one fifty. I just want some shorts, if anything. How much is it? No shorts. How much are the out of office? Three hundred quid. Sunnies are like 150. Card holders and stuff. That one's about 100. That one's about 120. Other than that, nothing special to be honest. There's no shorts. The only thing that I kind of liked was that green, that green grey top. That's it. I thought this was sick. 23 on the back, how much? 
Uh, not gonna lie, variety wasn't there. There was about twenty items. Maybe that's a bit of a uh, exaggeration. Yeah, what have we got down there? We got hocker, hocker, hocker. Um, I think that's it. There's just so many like random shops. I suppose it is an outlet center, so it kind of makes sense. But yeah, they got so many shops here. This is lunch for today. It's wood fired steak. I think I'm going to go for that rib cap. Go for a little 300 grams, literally 11 pounds. So cheap. Um, there's Wagyu, but I feel like it's probably not that good Wagyu here, but there's so much stuff. Or I might get a rice bowl. But yeah, let's see what we get. I mean, for 50, not even 15 pounds. It was 4,300 yen, which is like 25 pounds. So for like 13 pounds, 12, 13 pounds, pretty banging to be fair. It looks like a decent cart as well. Bash. This place, honestly, it has every single outlet. We've just come to the other side, which is like more um, like upper class brands. So you've got Acne Studios, Celine, Fendi, Burberry. Gucci, Ami Paris, Kenzo, um, there's like Celine, I can't remember if I said that, there's a Givenchy, Prada, Moncler, like all of them, I'm not up enough to, to go shopping there today, so it's not really worth me showing that sort of stuff, I'm not going to lie, um, it's not realistic to come here and just shop in all of those stores in my personal opinion. Nor do I think it's a good financial decision. A lot of them are uh, not actually priced that well. It's more so the the sports retail store. So there's a t-shirts and Under Armour at ten pound. Puma there was t-shirts for ten pound. Nike we're going to try and um, go back and loop. Mission failed. I've never in my life been to an outlet so strict. Honestly, it's a freaking joke. Ten pairs a person. Maximum three. I'm used to 30 and five. And even then, like, I suppose I kind of get looked after by mm -hmm. outlet stuff. Big up all the ones that look after me. That's not even funny. Why am I laughing? But, um, yeah, so managed to finesse. Talking the staff into bringing us more pairs out the back. And then we're about to buy them full box pairs of this shoe. And they're like... Oh, you've already hit your buying limit today. Come back tomorrow. And I was like to the guy, I'm literally flying home tonight. They're for my friends and family. Gave him some whole BS spiel. And he's like, all right, you can buy, you can buy two each. About to pay. And then, and then they switch the worker and they just cook us and basically kick us out. So yeah, a bit of an L, but we're, we're done at the outlets now. Um, as I said, the Nike video is going to be out tomorrow. Um, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. I think I'm going to continue today's video. I'm not sure. If I don't, I'll just end it here. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. We got lucky. It's now completely overcast. You can't even see the mountain. So we were lucky to see it earlier. But goodbye, the outlet.